<laughs> in California, climate change meets wealth redistribution. And what happens? Well, after jumping through hoops, you enter fantasy land. Shake your head on this one. The formerly Golden State does it again. Here's my take. California has a carbon tax that will bring in billions of dollars a year. Of course, they're going to spend it all. But what on? The law insists it must go to reducing emissions. Here's where the hoop jumping comes in. The Golden State guys want to build sustainable communities. That's actually low-income housing. They will build roads. <laughs> How green is that? And they will pump big money into the lunatic bullet train. But wait. Studies show that building that train will increase emissions. How do you get around that? Simple. They will use recycled concrete and steel for the track. <laughs> they will plant thousands of trees and they will buy green school buses. But wait, there is more. There will be more money for a green bank. Now that's a slush fund for greenies. $200 million for electric car development. Tesla, very happy with that. And of course, a lot more money for alternate fuels. You add it all up and it's a long and winding road to green heaven, or as I prefer to call it, redistribution hell, because that's what it is. Redistribution of California's wealth, pure and simple. Take it from so-called polluters and give it to the people who will vote you back in power. The greenies will win from this, so will the unions, and so will the bureaucrats. The state of California will continue to sink. By some estimates, the tax will raise maybe $40 billion total by 2020. That is a big pot of gold. It will be taken from the long-suffering private sector and distributed to the cronies and hangers-on of the left. What a mess. The rulers of a high-tax, high-unemployment, low-growth state tax and redistribute their way to re-election. Or so they hope. Surely. A dose of reality can't be that far away for the fantasy land that used to be the golden state.